Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Cook the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am showing you a quick and easy makeup routine to get you Zoom conference ready or whatever video platform that you use for work. Because the way the world is right now, uh, most of our meetings have changed from being in person to over video conferencing. And so, yeah, guess what? You know what? From the waist down, I'm in my PJs, but from the waist up, I have to look presentable. <laughs> so today I wanted to show you really, really quickly how you can get a put kind of like a really quick put together look because the kids might be calling you. You also need to get breakfast ready, also get them ready for homework time and e-learning and all that crazy stuff. So time is precious. So I already have my foundation done. And if you don't even wanna do a full foundation, just use a little bit of concealer, go underneath your eyes, just to kind of cover up any redness or dark circles that you may have. I did that in a previous video. While I do the rest of my face, what I like to do is I like to prep my lips just by putting on a little bit of lip balm. It kind of rehydrates my lips and also because I have a slight lip balm addiction. But I have a lip balm on and that way it just kind of just starts to moisturize my lips to get it ready for my lipstick. Now, after that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use just a couple of products. So this here is our illuminating stick. I really, really like this product for a quick and easy makeup look. All I do is you can use your finger or you can use a little concealer brush, uh, brush like this, which is just kind of like a flat brush. And you just use a little bit of this and then just apply it to your eyelids. All right, it just, what it's gonna do is just gonna create a little bit of dimension for my eyes and just a little nice pop of color. Eyeshadow done. Now, after that, I'm just gonna set the illuminating stick aside because I'm gonna go back to that later. I'm gonna get my favorite eyeliner or you know whatever eyeliner of your choice or if you want to use an eyeliner brush and then powder shadow, that's fine too. Today, I'm just going to use the glimmer stick and this one's in black and green. I'm just gonna warm up the product a little bit on my wrist like so and then I just go along my lash line just to kind of help define my eyes, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, at the corner of my eyes here, I'm gonna go do a bit of an upward tick. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my little ring finger and I'm just going to gently, gently, gently blend that out. The heat from my fingers will also warm up the product to make it a little bit more blendable. And it just creates the softest contour, smokiness just in the corner of your eye. So you see the difference between one eye and the other? So that's just with a liner. And then I would also use it underneath, just a little bit along my lower lash line. And I don't like to line all the way across, I just like to line about a third of the way. I don't go all the way across. Just to kind of like create a little bit more depth to my eyes this way. Let's do the other side. I just go upwards a little bit, just to create, put a little bit more product on it. And then I just gently tap it out just to blend it. So my eyeliner is essentially being my second shadow shade. So my liner is done. Then I just take mascara, and this is my absolute favorite mascara in the whole wide world. I have gone through so many tubes at this, and it is the um, Love at First Lash Mascara, and they say don't pump it. What you wanna do is you wanna roll it in your hands like this, and then I'm just going to wiggle it and place it on my top lashes. And then, so what I do if I wanna add a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, I take my eyelash, uh, my, my mascara wand, and whatever's left over on it, I just quickly brush a little bit on my lower lashes. Because I have such sparse lower lashes, I don't like putting a lot of mascara on my lower lashes because I just feel like it emphasizes the sparseness. <laughs> but this gives a little bit of color. And you know what, half the time I just skip this step altogether. Like I literally just don't do, even do my lower lashes. My eyes are pretty much done. Now, from there, if you wanna add a little bit of glow or highlight, this is the Vidia Lumen Layer Primer and I just tested this out in a previous video. Oh my gosh, the primers are amazing. I just put a teeny tiny little dab. Then I'll take my pinky finger, tap it on your cheekbones, but what I'm also going to do, like, oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's so pretty. I'm also just gonna hit up the inner corner of my eye real quick. to Just create a little bit of brightness on the inside of my eyes. It'll wake up my eyes a little bit more. And then if you wanna add a little bit more, you can just put it underneath your brow bones. All right, because then I don't have a lighter shadow, so I'm just gonna use 
that instead. If you have the type of um, eye skin, like your eyelids, they tend to crease. What you also can do is put on a primer for your eyeshadow. And then if you're using something like the illuminating stick, you can also set it with a like a translucent powder um, or well, not even a translucent powder, but you can set it with like a, a very light eyeshadow too. It'll also, it, it just kind of helps to keep from creasing if your eyelid makeup tends to crease. So now for my blush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that illuminating stick. I'm going to just dab a little bit on my cheeks and I go towards my hairline a little bit more and then I blend it. So you can use a beauty, beauty blender, your beauty blender, or you can use your fingertips a little bit. So I didn't put it on the top here. I literally just went underneath my cheekbones and towards my hairline a little bit. It just gives your face a little bit more dimension. And that's that. Now for my final step, you can choose your lips. So if you want something quick and dirty and easy, I would suggest, and they don't make this anymore, but this is usually my go-to if I need something that's kind of dual use, which is the Tinted Balm. They are coming out with a new Tinted Balm, so I can't wait to try that out. But this is my absolute favorite one. This is the Plum Passion uh, Tinted Lip Balm from Avon that they had years ago, and they don't make it anymore, so it's making me really, really sad. But the other thing is I can, if, I want to wear do something like to brighten my mood a little bit. You can use a liquid lip color or I can use your regular lipstick. I'm going to use the new Glimmer Kiss liquid lipstick in Violet Sapphire. It's really easy to apply, so I don't have to line my lips or anything. And I am now video conference ready. Done. That took what, seven or eight minutes? Not too bad. I mean, if I didn't have to talk, it's usually a little faster. But of course, I also I already had my foundation done before that, so this probably like takes ten minutes to get this looked at, guys. Really simple, really fast, and so I hope that you got a good couple of tips. I mean, feel free to change the colors to whatever palette color, like your the shades that you like and things like that. You can also, you know, choose to play up something. But the mo main thing is, I do tend to find that video conferences, the videos tend to wash me out a little bit, so a brighter lip is helpful because you're also not in like optimal lighting and things like that. But if you don't just, if you want to just look less tired, throw on some lipstick and a little simple eye makeup, you're done, 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 done. If you enjoyed this video guys, make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up. If you're interested in learning more about any of the products that I mentioned today, make sure you do hit my e-star link down below. And while you're there, check out what Avon can do for you. Click that join Avon button, read up on it and see whether or not opening an online beauty business would be right for you as a side hustle, especially during this time of self-isolation. Products can be delivered directly to your customer's home and it is contactless delivery. Avon will do the direct deposit right into your bank account. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you also hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos out every single week about business tips, product reviews, and sometimes my dance adventures. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!